Hello, my name is The Habs Guy, and today I'm going to be opening up a 2010-2011 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Blaster Box. Looking for two young guns, P.K. Subban, Taylor Hall, maybe even uh, Sergei Bobrovsky. Alright, thank you so much for clicking on my video. That was probably the weirdest intro I've ever done, but you know what? They're, yeah, I'm just going absolutely crazy right now. I've got a blaster box of 2010 2011 Upper Deck Series 1, and in one of these blasters, we are guaranteed two Young Guns rookie cards. We're going to have 12 packs in every box, five cards per pack. This is a look at the Young Guns rookie cards. I guess Kadri is another one to get along with Suban, Taylor Hall and Sergei Bobrovsky. I'm really looking for the Subban one. I have not uh, gotten Subban ever. Looking for UD Game Jersey cards as well. And here are some of the odds. So Young Guns are 1 in 6, and a Canvas Young Guns 1 in 96. Actually, no, never mind. 20th Anniversary Young Guns are 1 in 96. I completely forgot. Canvas cards did not exist yet until 11-12. And Jersey cards, 1 in 240 packs. We've got some weird inserts like EA Superstars, All World Teams, Hockey Heroes, and uh, some inserts that aren't really loved by the community, which is why they stopped them. So let's just grab the scissors. This is a look at the box without the wrapper. And open it up, take a look at our packs. Here are are 12 promised packs in here. These are supposed to be 12. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So all of our 12 packs are here. And we can gently put them on the mat, close up the empty box, and put it here on the side. Here is a look at the pack. Only 5 cards per pack, so really thin pack in this blaster box and the odds on the back of the pack. You can stop the video, take a look at those, and let's just get right into the box. And I absolutely shredded the first pack. So here's a look at the base cards. We've got Johan Hecht of the Buffalo Sabres, and here's a look at the back of the base card. Definitely one of the uh, weirder designs. I'm not the biggest fan of it having a little photo in there and it's just not really elegant the way Upper Deck makes cards today. We've got Gilbert Brûlé, Nicholas Backstrom, Marianne Gabaric, Tom Potty, and uh, that's it because only five cards per pack. These packs are a little tough to open. And here we go, pack number two. Michael Froelich, a checklist card featuring three Blackhawks, Keith, Kane, and Taves. Okay. And Brendan Morrow, Brian McCabe, and Brent Seabrook. Pack number three. So basically, well, that was technically another all-base pack because the checklist is a part of the base set. Pack number three. Yaroslav Spacek. Darren Helm, and our first insert is one of these EA Sports Ultimate Team cards of Jonathan Taves. Such a weird card, I don't know why they did these. I guess it's a promotion for EA Sports NHL. We've got Cody McLeod and Derek Roy. Alright, next pack. Yeah, these packs are definitely really difficult to open up, especially compared to uh, some different packs. We've got T.J. Galliardi, Thomas Fleischmann, Derek Morris, Mark Edward Vlasic, and Alexander Edler. Alright, so another all-base pack. Still, we haven't hit uh, any of our two young guns so far. Let's see what we've got here. Jonas Hiller, and Alexander Burroughs, and a Hockey Heroes of Steve Iserman. Wow, that is pretty... Horrible design for uh, Hockey Heroes. I don't remember this design at all, but it looks pretty bad in my opinion. And uh, two final cards, Louis Erickson and Claude Giroux. Okay, so uh, wow. 
two inserts so far. Two inserts that aren't around anymore in Upper Deck Series 1. Maxim Talbot, Brian Elliott, and our first Young Guns is a Hab. Not the Hab I'm looking for though. JT Wyman. This is uh, the look of the Young Guns. Definitely an odd design. 232. I like the font for the Young Guns at the bottom, but uh, I don't like the name at the top. I think it looks a little weird. Eric Cole and Patrick Berglund. At least I can add the Wyman to my Young Guns collection. Okay, so we've hit one Young Gun so far. It's been a tiny bit disappointing, but uh, at least again, it's a Hab. Not a Hab I'm really familiar with, but I can add him to the collection. Daniel Briard, Rick Nash, Brad Stewart, Stephen Weiss, and Jonathan Erickson. All base once again. Ton of base packs in a blaster of 11-12. Series 1, that is for sure. Mikhail Grabowski and Shea Weber. And here's one of these retro upper deck cards. Mark Edward Vlasic retro card from... This is supposed to be a retro of... Uh, oh, I don't even know. I was expecting it to say the year there, but it just says 1011 upper deck. Cool card stock though. Really old school. And we've got Trent Hunter and Bobby Ryan back when he was with the Anaheim Ducks. Okay, next pack. Devin Setoguchi, Jamie Langenbrunner, Wojtek Tekwolski, David Krejci, and Cam Ward. Another base pack. All right. Next up, seems like another base pack. Steven Samkos, Daniel Alfredson, Curtis Glencross, Antoine Vermet, and Joel Ward. Sorry about hitting the camera there. Or the camera stand, that is. And two packs to go in this very quick blaster box. Michael Ryder and Guillaume Latendresse. We've got another EA Sports card of Dion Phaneuf. Brad Richardson and Ryan Whitney. Final pack, we've got our second Young Guns rookie card here. Hopefully, hopefully we've got a very good one. That would be pretty fantastic to finish things off. Andrew Brunette, Colton Orr. And who do we have? Atlanta Thrashers. Oh, that's not very good. Maybe Bogosian? No. Arders Kolda. Young Guns. Well, cue the uh, prices right. Sad horn. That was a little disappointing. Martin Mrodar, Ilya Brzgalov. Well, it happens. You went some, you lose some. This one probably a loss. Let's get right into the insert recap. So in this blaster box, we hit two EA Sports Ultimate Team cards, FNF and Taves. We also got a Hockey Heroes of Steve Eiserman. I'm a big fan of this card here. Mark Edward Vlasic Retro card. I like that a lot. And JT Wyman and Arters Kulda were our two Young Guns rookie cards. Very, very disappointing, but uh, it's all right. I mean, when buying a blaster, odds are usually against you because you're only going to get two Young Guns out of the entire series, and you can't always expect to hit one of the bigger ones. So thank you so much for watching this video. This was 2010-2011 Upper Deck Series 1 Blaster. It was a little disappointing. We didn't hit any of the bigger ones, but that's all right. It does happen, and there you go. We can have the horizontal look in the background. Please, if you enjoy the video, leave it a thumbs up and a comment down below, and subscribe for some more videos. As always, everyone, I will see you next time.